Welcome to FBXW, where stars are born. Now, watch out for black cats, watch out for ladders. It's Friday the 13th, Ivana. All unlucky things can happen today. And here are some lucky ladies, lucky for us. Karina Kaboom and Melissa, continuing the series of one-on-one -on -one women's. Definitely feuding, and you're going to get your tuckets in the ring. Yes, well, I did so fantastic last time. I think maybe I'll do a little better one-on-one -on -one with this little contract breaker. Exactly. And remember, robot lives matter, David, and I'm going to show you that. Well, all right, he's going to stand up by kneeling and hopefully make you lay down for the one, two, three. Hopefully. Well, also we have Bonnie taking on the, you know, pretty big Jesse Anderson, the quite comparable exactly if anybody could match him in power and size uh -oh, it could be, oh my god on? what's going on something's going on oh look, oh my buddy. god did you know about this i've heard rumblings but uh rd who is uh gonna get the okay pops uh to start competing well i mean that's the thing we haven't seen him since he hasn't had the okay right since he's been injured and taken out there he is checking out the crowd. He's been oh, a while. Yeah. yeah, it's been. Oh, there's the know, Styles it, with you know who. Yeah, it's been a strange journey for RD because they never, you know, they never got their rematch when it went to uh, go against the Legion Road Crew. And if you've seen everybody, Legion Road Crew dropped the belts to Justice. That's so, right. So you know, here he is a. Former tag champ never got the rematch and finally back in the building tonight. I wonder what that means. Is he going to update on us on, you know, when he's finally going to be released or not? I don't know. Well, he's got to get the word from our good doctor. Oh, look at that wow. right there. And look, there's the there's the current oh. tag champs right there. Ammunition there, maybe for later down the road? Well, you know he's got his eyes on him. That's just the way, you know, the Lethal Syndicate roll, darling. That's what you have to do. Wow, and, oh, there he is, finally uh -oh. getting back there to the locker room. Oh, yeah. People don't realize our building is a lot bigger than what they see. And oh, Barely there he is. That's right, it's Doc Ula in the house. And you know what this is about, everybody. Well... We'll hear results from that soon, hopefully. And uh, Madman Mike Mino will be taking on... Wow, I love to rant. Not to mention, there's Chris Collier right there in the corner in case there's any shenanigans, like possibly removing a turnbuckle or doing something when the ref's down or whatever could happen, right? Well, on Friday the 13th, a lot can happen. Oh, anything and everything could happen around the world. Everybody knows it on this day. And look at that arena. It's it's just scary. You think it was Halloween already? 
I know, right? It's a little update to the normal Friday Resurrection Arena. Well, wouldn't you know it? Friday Show Resurrection, Friday the 13th. Here it was gonna happen. Oh, oh, you know what could hit the fan. Yeah. Watch your language now. It's kid friendly. At least that's what I say on the invitations to the show. That's why I say, oh, you know what. Yeah. But yes, I love the Reds. I could definitely see him being an international champion. He's a bit, he's a bit hardcore in you know, in his normal, in his normal state. But you never know. Well, yeah, I think you know maybe he would be a little bit better suited for the international than, than even his partner Chris Collier because Chris is a little more extreme. That's right, Chris Collier is a good man, but he knows how to make it bloody. And there he is. And speaking of good men, here comes one right now. Madman Mike Miner continuing another streak. Well, you, you you know he's you know he's just dead set on breaking that last streak of his. Well, I can see that and happening. The, you know, it's very possible. But I love the red is a big man with a friend in the corner. So it's, you know, maybe they won't do any shenanigans. But then again, you never know. Exactly, but right now we got the most successful international champion as of yet. Well, it'll be hard. To, he's set the bar very high for anyone else. Oh, yeah, he's the only two-time international champion, and he's the longest-rated international champion going to break his own record. And that's quite something to break your own record. It's not a little tiny record. And look at that. Look how gorgeous oh, she is. she's a beauty. She's ours. Exactly. Our girl is shining, doing the Fed proud. And there's I Love Durant with his friend in the corner, probably giving him some heavenly advice. Madman Magmina alone in battle. And a ring a ding ding. Uh oh. And there she, oh my god, there she goes out with a he, bang. He psyched him out, I think. I, I, I believe he did. That's quite the uh, strategy, it's totally legal. Uh oh, oh, oh! Wow, taking a playbook right there out of the rugged rebel I was himself. Say, just like the rebel. Look at that. Well, I mean, yeah, it's a version of the rebel later, but it's like you got the international champ showing right off the bat that he can hang with the world champ. And uh, throwing him in the ropes. He's he's taking a oh 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 oh. Okay, we saw that happen coming. And another thing, I like, though, why he did that. You remember a while back, Mike Mana was given a lot of credit to Lethal Syndicate, even offered, you know, an arm of membership yes. if they needed somebody to join. And, they, you know, they, they didn't take well, it, Well, yeah, right? they're, they're a private club, if you will. They're exclusive. And and it's like he's, he's sitting here proving and showing anybody. I, you know, I could do everything you can do just as well. Who's right? to know when he might cross paths with the Lethal Syndicate, one on one or otherwise? Well, I would like to think the Rugged Rebel, even even if he wasn't watching this match, he's going to hear that somebody did his move. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And he's going to have his eyes right here on Young Mike Miner. Well, Mike Miner doing us proud. He is definitely the future of FBXW. Oh, he comes in and brings fire. The good thing is the boy was on fire when he come in. He cut so many Well, he promos, just did one recently. Had he so just much did a say. live show again. Like I said, he's always, like, lighting himself That's on right. fire. He, he has a passion for the company, and we see it. Oh! And it doesn't go unappreciated. That wow! Was, but that right there went unappreciated. And now I love Durant taking a little more advantage. Well, I always think taller people like that have a little bit of advantage sometimes oh, when it comes one, to aerial moves. Two, whoa, well. Because he's so tall, it's a little bit, you know, they're, they're coming at him. He can see it. He got a better view. He can, he can reverse it sooner. And Mike Mine is not the tallest, but he definitely stands tall. He has made international a household oh, yeah, name. Well, he's definitely brought some prestige to the belt, and that's oh, what we appreciate. If anybody's wondering why we gave the guy a lot of opportunities, he gave us a lot of work. You know, when you work hard on promos, it doesn't go That's right. unappreciated. The you make our it gives job, you the story the, pushes. Uh, better the journey will be for hit them. 
Oh yeah, like any work environment, you, you make the job easier on the boss. He'll tr do what he can for you, uh -oh. and therefore it's a copacetic and relationship. And one, two, that's it. But my point is, if anybody's watching this and you're wondering, make more yes, promos, promos, damn it. are very vital. Without that, well... It's the heartbeat of an uh -oh. E-Fed. It's oh, the he's heartbeat gonna try this of the E-Fed. Is it going to work? And he's missed it before oh. in the past. Is he... Oh, and he... Well, at least he didn't miss on his own this time, and it was a reversal, because that's like a 50-50, even when they're dizzy. Oh, that's a they has swatted nothing. away a lot of attempts by Mike Miner. Like I said, he's got great like aerial defense. He's got Adam's size, but a little more. Oh, no. And one. look at that. What did I say? He did it again. And now he's going for the pin right away. Whoa, whoa, one to two. Oh, barely two. Oh, my. I tell you, when he does that move like that and goes for the pin with it, it's like he's he's putting Lethal Syndicate on blast. Say, look well, at know, me. They might end up being in the fray again, but they might be up for tag team contention depending Doc Eula's uh, well, prognosis. Uh, well, obviously, like I said, the Lethal Syndicate no. never got their tag team but rematch. But they still hold entitlement bill. to it. RD got injured. I mean, the, the chance for anyway. Well, I mean... Oh! Oh, my. Yes. But things have happened. You know, they waited a bit. And then we have another tag team that has dibs. Oh, two. To the count. Three, two. These are ve two very feisty, fiery individuals. One looks stronger than the other, but one more agile. Yeah, and he's also uh -oh. more, e you know, uh, uh -oh. e he has more E-Fed experience than I love to run. He puts oh, him out right is, by Chris uh, Collier. Watch out, Mike Miner. And look, he's taunting them right oh, there, like bring oh, it on, guys. And Chris Carr is telling them. Oh! You know, Chris is saying, don't fall for it. He's oh, trying no. to get in your mind. And Mike takes advantage yeah, of the Mike situation. International rules. I know, but he right there, he calls a little collision and stuff with Chris. And Chris is yeah. giving him his space. You I'm see that? He's not getting though. involved, you even you know, though Mike... Attacking managers. Well, yeah, all, the only way Chris got involved is he won. I love to rant, don't fall for the mind tricks, and wow. sure enough, Mike. Well, you can see it. the camaraderie between the disciples, and while Collier was trying to confer with I love to rant, it uh, caused a bit of a distraction for I love to rant. Uh oh. One, two. Oh. It's always a two count. So, did. Well, I mean, it, of course it's always a two count until it's the three count, because then it's over. As they say. If every, if, if every time it was a well, I mean, it could be a count, one count, I mean, uh, you know, we wouldn't have much of it. It's always a two count. Oh, well, look, they're getting paper, deeper in the right match. It is a little harder at this point. Oh, and Collier did I know, like it cut him in half. But see, oh, that's the thing. No. They stay, you notice they try to stay around that corner. I love Durant is trying to keep him right there in that corner because he knows Chris Collier has way more EFED experience than him and way more EFED success. I love Durant has to keep it around his coach to get his oh, maximum potential eyes. utilized in this match. You see what I'm saying? No, he hasn't moved yes. Mike Miner nowhere. He keeps him right there. Mike Miner's just all over him. Oh my goodness, he is all over him. Like an oh, one. my big Samoan. Oh, no. Now it's getting a little bit more brutal. Just choking him. I know. He's getting a little uh -oh. pissed. And look at that. He scratches you in the uh -oh. eyes right before he goes for the Up finisher. Up the Down she goes. And... And boom. Oh, whoa. And there's the two... Call, he's telling the ref. He clawed him in the eyes right before that. The ref needs to do his well, job, though, honestly. This is a match with rules, you know. And sometimes a manager gets passionate and says, Ref, do your damn job. Oh! Flying steam Look at that. Bowling that was amazing. Oh! Well, you can call it a cannonball, but it's That's really a, just a... Oh, look at that. He draws first draw blood. And on Friday, I Saturday, know. it goes with the rest of the uh, canvas. Don't you agree? And now he's just... I know, oh, isn't it gorgeous? Now. One, two... The oh, canvas, I mean. Oh, I mean. Maybe the blood in his eyes affected his uh, pinning? I don't know. Oh! 
Oh! And it pissed him off. Like I said, that it, that they threw for first eye. blood because he was bound and determined to get it back. They're both it's, wearing the it's crimson bloody mask Friday tonight. The 13th, everybody. They're getting in the Halloween spirit. Put on your we'll crimson mask, boys because and when girls. I have my match with Dave Rivera, the boys and there ghouls. will be blood spilled. And oh, oh, face first into the turnbuckle. Oh, oh, back and forth. Uh oh. Just laying the boots. This is no longer a wrestling match. This is broken down to a fight. And he breaks oh, him once oh, again oh, right in front of one, Chris Collier. Two. He wants Chris Collier oh. to see this. Surprised Collier didn't get involved there. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's just pissing off all other oh, man. This is, this is just, a great this fight. A Look at this. Without, uh, you know, hardware. Uh oh, pump handle. I know they're using the ring. They're using their bodies as the hardware. That's the whole point of this international belt. We gotta have that different flavor here. We want to be different oh, yeah. than everybody well, else, while right being you know blood. unique at the same time. That's the flavor. Oh no, is he going for it again? Oh, oh, the long way. Look at that. Long Minor road. bomb. Oh, and he majorly and one, hits it in the middle of two. the ring. Oh. Three. Two. That's all she wrote. Oh, Collier's getting all riled up. Wow. Well, that was you don't say. unbelievable, as they say. You're right, Britt Wicker. That was great. And look at him. Covered in the crimson he mask. He but he is continue. the champ. And the women are next up. Lovely they ladies are, the but, maybe they are, but I got to say, I got to love the bumpers. <laughs> but go on, I'm sorry. Yes, that was a little special. The, the monkeys got a little bit juiced up when they did that. They did a good job. Go feed them a banana. I think I will. I think you said banana, not banana. But speaking of banana, as if there's a segue for this, Corinda just celebrated recently, maybe uh, yesterday, her birthday. I know, right? Isn't that amazing? We have young talent here. Wish wish we would have uh, known about it just a little sooner. We would have had a little special for it. But definitely hearing about it like this, we have to say happy birthday, girl. You've been really great. We love seeing all oh, your yes. work. Your variety, your youth, your energy, your loveliness. You have been a great jewel in the FBFW. And I know you will continue to be so as well. Oh, happy yeah. birthday, Clarissa. Yeah, happy birthday, doll. But look at this, the queen of mean right here. Yeah, she's, um, she just had a match last week, but this is the way it goes. People are going to have two matches in a row at some point. I know. I mean, isn't that what ever wrestler really wants, though? I mean, it does hurt your body a little bit, but you want to be out there as much as possible. You want to captivate. Look at her. Eat, sleep, make up, repeat, right? That's right. And she has been uh, hard at work. She wants that belt back. Well, not back, but she had gold in the other Fed, and it's yet to yeah, take she gold again. Yeah, she wants gold back. That's a better way of putting it, instead of that yes. belt. She wants she gold. She'd love to have a second belt under her belt. Well, look at that speak. sexy waist of hers. Tell me gold wouldn't look great around that waist, especially the way the I shirt's I can think of a lot of things that would look good around that waist. But uh, boots. But speaking of sexy waist, there she is, the women's champion. I know, right? And it looks good. Gotta admit, oh, it, it looks, looks good, good around her waist. And if you look at the belts, all the belts, the main belts currently, well, b besides Ruggins, because, you know, he went and got his own style redid, but eventually we're going to get that away from him and update it. But the women's oh, belt, yes. the tag belt, and even eventually Ruggins will have similar stylings like this. The administration has to have a hand in things once in a while yeah and we at the administration was going looking up independent work and here's the strange thing the tag team champion himself rock roberts was having these experimental designs and all of our main belts are you know greatly inspired by his original design so go figure right homegrown you know that's how it works yeah. exactly we take but, the advice a lot of the time from the roster that's what makes us better than some 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, even the Halloween is going to have roster people's other, other oh. members. You know, look, look at that. That was so oh, sneaky. That was sneaky as hell. She was cat like that. As soon as Melissa turned around, it's like she was behind it. That was magical. She keeps that up. She might be champion. That's the first time I saw somebody do that like that as well. There's always a first here. The F in FBXW stands for first. And she is very innovative, but wow. Well, Melissa's just, wow. She just like, like oh, she's discombobulated after that first move right there. It just started. See, it's like waking up on the wrong side of the bed, you know? Oh, she looks like it's, she's rolling over the bed. Oh, and there That's we the go. first good thing that went for Melissa. And now she's taking advantage while she can. It, that's right. It's time to build momentum, but it's really hard when you have oh. a rocky start like that. Oh, oh, fireman's carry. She loves that. Oh, Karina. She just after what? Uh, oh she my goes. arm drag. Look at the wrestling here, darling. Look oh, at this. She got that from her husband. She is just a hybrid character. I mean, you can see technical. You see power. Before. You see lucha. Yes, I've seen lucha. Well, my, I'm talking about you look at Melissa Collier's style of wrestling, right? Uh-huh. She's just like a jack, a, 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 a jack of all spades, right? A Jacqueline, perhaps. There you go. But Karina, maybe she's trying to, oh, make up for that loss last week to Florinda. One, oh, that may have been two, actually. I was looking at other things and not the ref. You can understand. Well, of course, they're gorgeous. Well, I didn't start women's wrestling in the FBXW because I wanted, you know, to... Well, could you imagine them all out there dressed in, like, nun outfits? We oh. respect women's wrestling so much that we're going to hide it. I respect it, but I also enjoy it. Admire it. Yeah, you can respect something and admire at the same time. Of course. Oh, flat, that's flat out there. W -w One to two. Nope, that's all she got. Karina, uh, slowing down now. Her momentum has been lessened. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, my goodness. Melissa, trying to gain back her momentum. She's. Oh! oh! See, that was a nice little. Senton. Lucha style move mixed into her moveset. Technical. Power. I mean, you got everything oh! right there. Melissa coming back still. What I was trying to say earlier, Jack of all trades, but... Jacqueline of all uh, trades. Jacqueline, straight Jacqueline of all trades right there. There's no wonder right there anybody wonders Coin that why phrase, she's by the, the champ. Way, Jacqueline of all trades. If anybody ever wondered, though, why she's the champ, you just really have to just analyze a few of her matches and you'll realize Here quickly. we go again. One. No, nah, she's... Look, kicked it. I knew it. But uh, credit to both ladies there. Oh! Oh, that could be me right now. Missing something like that. But she's right back at it. Karina just like a cat with nine lives. Oh, and Melissa just, oh, don't dislocate her neck. She needs to be in good shape. Oh, my. Ooh. Clarinda must be watching this. Well, you know, this this is all going good for Clarinda. It, it, she, she was friends with Melissa, but that little... Rivalry over the belt. Yes. That little bitterness and jealousy. Oh. And she don't forgive One. Melissa for beating her back in Two. the day. Oh, man. Well, sometimes gold brings out the worst in everybody. But, you know, this is all going good for Clorinda. Whoever gets hurt, it doesn't matter. She has to face both of them. Well, Clorinda still has to face uh, Melissa before the pay-per-view because there's three matches in this month. Well, I know you're giving them all their little one-on-ones. Right. And then you gotta let them go. Be Clarinda. People to we'll see uh, if Karina can get a point on Melissa. Well, you're doing proper booking. You know, each time you're giving them a chance to build that match, to get that experience with each other for that big payday at the end. Oh! If anybody wonders, God. that's called professional booking. You know, booking that leads up to something and with a payoff. Uh oh! Oh! Oh no! She giving a oh no! It's the oh you know what this is? It's the makeover! Oh. Boom! And she stuck it. Gave oh. her the makeover. Two. Two. Oh my god! She wriggled out of that one. And you know it's not like she's gonna win the belt even if she wins, but she's but gonna momentum. Win. She needs it because she already yeah. lost one. 
you build momentum, you win respect with the audience and stuff. Before the pay-per-view, each one will have had two matches, and it'd be nice to have at least one win. But exactly. there can only be so many wins and so many there'll be three wins between the three, and who's gonna have more? Clorinda has one. And does any of it matter? Because the only thing that really matters is that last match for the goal. Right. right, in the end. They're all in contention. Three way, that's and between those three ladies, holy smokes. I mean, but that's the great psychology. You give them a chance to build momentum. You oh. give them a chance to, you know, some people get behind. But ultimately, it's all going to work itself out in the wash. Look, look at them at legs. That. Those. I know. She got legs and knows how to use them. Karina was definitely a great acquisition to this Fed. She has better things to do, and she is spending her time here. God love her. And there's a... There's only one person in this whole fed with stronger and better legs than her, and you know who oh, that yes. is. She likes to run right into your heart. She does. But I think, you know, maybe the best boots in the whole women's division right there, Karina. When she lays the boots to somebody, and it's not even just Rachel those heels. Runs and Karina, just, she, she careens. And Melissa Collier has the strongest slap in the whole damn oh, company. Yes. Oh, and Karina is down. And she's hoisting her up. And uh-oh. Oh, oh my. Oh. Look at that. Like I talked about those great oh, legs. My and, oh, You know who taught her uh, that, don't you? Oh, and no. Look at and a this. backwards cutter. Well, a backwards neck uh, cutter. Because it's more of a neck breaker, but still. Oh. She's a headhunter. She wears out uh -oh. people's head. She's going up. She, you don't no, know. If she's she, just saluting. You don't know if she's going to hit you with that neck breaker, the DDT, or her, or her call you cutter. Well, she. Uh, oh. Oh my. Karina trying to make a comeback. Oh, and that didn't work. They just reverse it back and forth. Oh, there's oh, a slap. My goodness. Oh. What's she gonna do? Oh, face first. Oh, my God. Just slams her face. You're definitely going to need some cover up after that, ain't you, darling? Oh, <laughs> oh, and she flips her over. Karina, temporarily, no. The women fight just as hard, if not harder, than the men. There's and there's neck another breaker. neck breaker. She's uh -oh. a head hunter. Uh-oh. You know what this She's might be. Up. And whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. Everyone. Oh my God! She was going to do a crossbar. Oh, she! Oh my God! What she fell. Happened? Holy hell! And Karina is ready to take advantage. Melissa is completely. She went to do the moonsault in the dark and couldn't see, and went to jump oh, and just. Oh no! Oh my God! Oh, and now she's going for another makeover, it's... perhaps. Makeover. Oh! And look at that! This. Oh my God! This One, is not looking two. good. Three. Two. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Was, what what happened? Was there an electrical failure? You wanted your Friday the thirteenth. Somebody Something crossed the black hat. Fishy happened. Wow, the that Karina scared the hell out of me. I gotta say. For that. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> um. Well, everyone, calm down. Everyone was there was a panic going on. Sheer panic. I know that. that uh, at first, I. I, I I, I, I was wanting to scream, but my mouth was open and there was no noise. I thought it was me I and I realized I it was someone else. That would uh, scare me. Uh -huh, but Karina uh -huh. actually leaving well enough alone. Yeah, amazing. I don't know how amazing is the word for I it, mean, though. But, um, yeah, I guess we're moving on. Congratulations. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Dun, you know dun, what this dun. means? The verdict is I guess in, you can leave darling. It on my desk or I, you know. Well, hopefully we'll know well, by Sunday, I'm right? <laughs> I'm getting changed from a match in my office, and there's RD there. And look at that. He's got a piece of paper in his hand, and he's getting warmed up. Oh, he already up. knows. Well, thank you for telling me first. Always the last to know. Well, he seems to be happy about well, something, doesn't he? Well, we all know he? what it was. And look at that. Charting it up with the one. Look at that. 
That's the first time we've seen them together in a long time. Damn, I'm trying to read his body language here. Well, well he's looked, pretty happy, I think we can only he? deduce, but not confirm the uh, most positive thing. But here we have rock and roller Jesse Anderson going against the king of monsters, Barney Green. Now, I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm putting all my money on Barney Green. Exactly. Jesse does have that chance that, you know, if Barney was caught cheering and things like that, but in general, he'll have to make a mistake or something. Because I, I don't know, Barney could just roll him every well, day. Well, former champion, King of Monsters, and he has had great success, and he's the King of Monsters. But, you know, Jesse's no yeah. little whippersnapper himself. That's but why look we're at it this way. Look at it this way, Ivana. Here it is, Friday the thirteenth. Look, look at the last yeah. match. Stranger but things have way, happened, Ivana. right? Jesse is like a fluffed video. It looks big and successful, but it's just a fluffed video. Oh, you mean like his video goes up and instantly yeah, it gets some Yeah, it looks successful, views but yeah. is there any substance I'm, to it? I'm, we don't know. Barney, well, no, however, anybody, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like I a video with confirmed form. views and comments and so forth. Metaphorically speaking. Well, yeah, he's got likes, he's got comments, he's got yeah, activity. Metaphorically and speaking, and we're not talking about anything. It's one of those people. It, it's like a like a proper video that's a partner and all of that. But this is all metaphorical. We're not talking about anything specific. But there he is, the confirmed views video. I mean, sorry, the King of Monsters, Bonnie Green. Well, yeah, he's definitely a beast. That's why they. You know, his original moniker back in the day is the Boston Beast, right? But if you look at him, if you look at him as of late after what happened when Gav broke him, he was the broken beast. And what did he say? He was going to break yeah. down. And he did. And you but see Gav, him get you know, in the hospital I'm and he come back healing. a broken man. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, at least you're happy your son's alive. He's a little mentally broken right now. But that's yeah, what this business does my phone to you. Calls, but, you know, I'm giving him space. You know, things have happened. Well, yeah, you got to let him get everything worked out. And speaking of working out, it's time to get, ring a ding ding, get this oh, baby we go. going. I want to see these two guys and... go at it. Wow. Bit of a standoff. Wow. I guess Jesse thought you get to. He's... Well, that didn't work out. Holy hell. It's like he was just daring him or something. Well, two people this size, I guess I shouldn't City expect style. a big quick start. Oh, well, no, like goodness. Bonnie doesn't That's give a gorilla toss. Look at the big gorilla toss. It's like a giant Exactly. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not a monkey flip. It's a gorilla flip or a monkey toss. Oh, it's he's the just gorilla stomping toss. away at him. Stomping away. And just laying the boots. Wait, what? And What's you can that? hear the audience booing. Oh, the prodigal oh, son returns. And something, look, something is definitely off about, about this doing? man. It's like he's checking his messages for something, sound? maybe. I've just got shivers right Holy now. Holy hell, this is crazy. Honest to God. Uh, wasn't me. What the I hell happened to your son? What the hell? Wow. Um... Yeah, yeah. And you know who did do something to him and who did put him this way? The man in the ring watching it all well, unfold. Okay, well, and Bonnie just going nuts. And he is not scared at all, but uh -oh. oh, don't turn around. Oh! Oh, no. Well, he's going to get up, Boom. right? Boom. One, two. Oh! Yeah, but he was, that was completely out of nowhere. Oh, oh my God! God. Throws over. He must have temporarily knocked him out of see, something with that move. I never thought I'd see a three. Barney never saw it coming. He just turned around and got flashed, knocked I, the hell yes, out. That's and he's up Jesse's that fast. Done. Jesse knows it. Take that victory and run. That is. Holy I'm, hell. Congratulations. Talk about it. Upset Barney right there. Jesse knows it. more upset. 
Wow, the audience doesn't All know right. what to think oh. after that. This show is kicking off. Well, I'm off uh, to my match. You can take over, Dave Boss. All right, be good, darling. Have you know, good luck with everything. Oh my God, that was such a creepy bump, everybody. But I really like it. It gets in spirit for the whole Halloween or what we have coming at the end of the month. It's Halloween, everybody. And now that I said Halloween, say hello to Dave Bot. I am Dave Bot. It's nice to have you back, Dave Bot. After everything that's been happening, you know, and you've been updated a little bit. So, how do you feel? How's everything going with you? I am much better now. And look, who is that coming out here, Dave Vaught? Daddy, Daddy. Well, maybe, but yes, it's Brett Wigger, and look at what he's wearing. Robot lives matter, I thought that. That's right, because robot lives do matter, and we will take the knee, you know... To stand with you by taking a knee and seeing the life through robot eyes. I and, am happy. And, and you know, that's really nice to hear. Because some people question, can you be happy or not? Who knows and who's the judge? As long as you think you're happy and you're having fun and you're not hurting nobody, I say to hell with everyone else. Let you have your fun, darling. I got it. Yes. The arena looks different from usual. Yes, because see, today is Friday the 13th. It's still the rest. Friday the 13th. Well, you know, a lot of people would think it's just the Jason Voorhees movies. That's a horror movie. But actually, it's just a a, a, a little untraditional type of holiday. You know, you know, we have here to work. I don't really know the, the, the full meaning behind it, but it's just an unlucky day, they say, right? It's a unlucky. day where any... You mean the first mission? Exactly where anything can happen. And look. Ha, ha, ha. It's just a silly superstition, my daughter. Nothing bad happens on Friday 13th. Well, I know, right? But look at that. Look who's coming in to right now have his one-on-one. The extraordinary revolutionary one himself. The Robo Well, yes, that is true too, but David Rivera has definitely got his credentials. He's young, he is in shape, and he is in his prom. Brent Wigger has had a little bit of warm-ups lately. You know, it's not like he's completely cold, but I, 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 I feel scared for him going in this match. I have confidence he will survive. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. I think he's going to survive as well. At least I hope, but I don't know. He's got his... Look at that. Dave wanted this match, and look at that. I bought him. This is a match? Yes, it's a match. They can fight anywhere. Dave wanted it. and he, Look Yay. at that. He lures him out in the audience. First strike goes to Professor Britt Wigger. Britt Wigger, go. Britt Wigger, go. And look at that. See, there's no, there's no time limit to this match. There's no disqualifications. They can do whatever they want. And the audience is really getting their money's worth tonight. I, I love how... 50% chance of victory. Yes, currently. Oh, my God. Ooh, 55%. Exactly. That was great. See, he's trained with great E-Fed wrestlers throughout time. He, he's got a few moves up his bag of tricks. Oh. Oh. David Rivera is... Oh, lucky. yes. Is lucky. Oh my God! Well, he he's lucky and he's talented. You know that sometimes the two go hand in hand. Meaning a talented person can take advantage of situations which normal people would perceive as luck, but they're smart enough and talented enough to take advantage of it, which in itself is a skill. I want to see David Rivera in a fatal four-way with three giant robots. Yes, but we. We haven't let robots fight with people because we don't want them to hurt people and stuff. And you know how it is. We're trying to protect people from robots. We're trying to protect robots from people. It's a very sticky situation. But David Rivera... Well, oh, oh my God, look at that. Yay, yay, yay. His whole leg went through the table. 
clean up in aisle B. Well, see, the one thing they got in common is both of these fighters are greatly opportunistic. You know, that's the whole thing. It doesn't mean they're dirty. It just means they're very smart and they take advantage of stuff. Look at that. Well, he's not the, you know, the nicest guy when he's mad about oh, something. I'll say oh, that. Oh. See, that spirit used to be a big finisher for him way back in the day when he was young and started out. Like a lot anymore. of wrestlers. Exactly. And like a lot of wrestlers, a lot of their old finishers just become big signatures and things now in the future. Hell, look at David Rivera. He's got the extraordinary revolution. He still uses... You know, the kill switch, but it's more as a signature now to set up the Extraordinary Revolution. Quite a crowd tonight. Friday the 13th is popular. And look at this, though. The whole time they've been out here fighting, ring-a-ding-ding, they went straight out to the audience and gave them, gave them their money's worth. This has not been in the match yet. I mean, been in the ring at all. Greg Wigger looks lucky today. And speaking of getting in the ring, he must have heard me on commentary. And look at him in the center of his ring, everybody doing great, and he knows it. Little his off for the audience. Exactly, and he's going, he done got the audience hyped, and he's bringing the fight back to David. Wow. I might take it back. Britt Wigger might just teach David Rivera that lesson tonight that David's really been itching to get. Oh, my God. Dear Lord, oh, my, oh, man. Oh, you you no. know, you, you might not ever have a brother after oh, that. Because no. if he's your daddy, well, I would say you're an only child, but we know there's the prodigal son out yeah. there. Yeah, I know. It's strange, fellow. Yeah, you could say, you, you know, your, your brother is a strange fellow. Oh, no. And look at this, hardware time, and he makes him pay. Security, security. No, this is within the rules. Unfortunately, he signed the contract for this match, and we're not breaking the contract. This is the rules. This is the Sorry. rules. Yay. And look at that, though. He's still fighting back. He hasn't given up yet, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Fight that much. I know, right? Oh, no. No. And, oh, my God. David. Oh, my God. He's just punishing him. Just punishing him. He doesn't even know what to do. He's just fighting on instinct, trying to get away, but David is just all over him. Someone turn the lights out. Someone ring a bell. Backstage alert. Something. I know, but you can't do nothing. Sorry. We got the programming set to win the door locked today. You're not going to run out and distract him this time. So, you know, he's going to get his clean match. He wanted the match. Britt wanted the match. They got the match. I'll be the salt there. But you, you won't be because they're still... Never mind. This is not a fight anymore. No, it is not. David. David. He can't oh, he's him. just punishing him. He is just punishing him now. I think I think David's just having fun with this. He could have easily tried to beat him. He hasn't tried it all yet. David. Uh -oh. oh my god! Kill switch! Oh my god. Uh, oh my god, he kicked out! I can't believe it. He still got some fight left to that old dog. But this doesn't look good. No. No, he's in this. Oh, my God. He was going for the instant revolution right there. And Brent reversed. There was ever a time to win. Oh, no. Oh, no. But David's right back on him. Not again. 
Oh, yes, again. He's setting up for something. I think I know. Yes, he's going for the instant revolution. It's that extraordinary revolution right there. Boom. And that was extraordinary. And three. Wow, that was all she wrote. Dave Rivera's rubbing it in his face right there. You can see it. Wow. That was no fun. Well, I mean, it was fun up until when it wasn't. Sure. You know, I, I thought there was a chance of Brit. Wait. Look at no. this. No. Look at this. He's not holding back. No. Oh, my. He hits him with a big, ooh, yeah, top rope to the outside. But look. Two? No, these are not the rules. The match is over right now. Somebody needs to do something. But we've had so much going on. Our security spent thin throughout the whole building. They don't just want, you know, watch the wrestlers. They got to keep the crowd in check, too. And look at that. Kill Sweat. Boom! On the chair. On the chair. On the outside. Oh, right there on the hard concrete. Wow. You got commentator I think we might need a permanent commentator after this, Dave. Oh, no. Get up, Brent Wigger. Get up. Boom. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It is awesome, but for all the wrong reasons. This is very, very Oh, my God. Oh, I hope he's all right. God, just leave him alone, David. Just please get out of there. You had your way with him. You've won your match. Yes, go. Thank you. Oh. Run, David. Run. Brick. Please just stay out of the ring, Brett. From now on, stay out. Oh, thank God it's over. Thank God it's over. Don't go back. Don't go back. Don't. What the hell is he? Who's he looking? What the hell? Oh, my God. It's Scabbo. Scabbo's an original member, and he was in the audience watching, and Dave grabbed him. I didn't realize, but he must have been arguing him with him or something right there. But this isn't right. You can't put your hands on audience members, even if they're former roster members. This is not believable. Well, of course this isn't believable, but it's Friday the 13th. What the hell you think was going to happen? Language, I Language. I don't care right now. He shouldn't have... Oh, my God. But they're fighting, and we can't do nothing about it. Scabbo is my... Well, yeah, like I said, I would go out there, but they got the door locked, so you don't do nothing stupid this time. And we can't do nothing. I don't need to now. Well, I know it's not your fault, but we're stuck and we can't even do anything. I think everything's fine. Oh, my God. Well, I'm, <laughs> I just get what you're saying there. But still. I guess we'll have to call security. Security, security. Oh. They did not hear us. Really? Well, I mean, I would, but I can't do that. I can't even we can reach the phone. We can use the phone. Well, you hand me the phone. Get... Why did you? Oh, my phone. God. Are you serious, Daybot? Accidents happen. Oh, my God. We tried. Oh, wow. And look, Scabbo was just yelling at him because Dave did, you know, kind of started. He was yelling at him, and Scabbo walked there, and Dave grabbed him. And that's what started it all. I thought he was going to go back and get Brett. I had no idea. This was it. Does Brett know this is happening? I don't know if Brett even knows what the hell's going on anymore. But nobody can stop it. And he's biting him. Oh. Oh. Oh, and he's leaving him out there. Look at that. Just, oh. oh. Squashes him and leaves him for dead in the cemetery. And runs away. I like Friday the 13th. I bet you do. Oh my God. That was an amazing main event, everybody. Holy hell. I don't know what to do. I can't wait to talk to Brent. Check on him. But we're all going to see you next week. Say goodbye, Daybot. Bye, Daybot.